Hello everyone, happy Sunday, God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prophetic word for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're not yet joining us, what in the world are you waiting for? Come on, come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will leave the information here on the screen and the link will be in the description box down below the title of the video. That's where you will find any information that you're looking for um, and all that good stuff. God bless you. I have brought you the prophetic word for today and it is around blessing. Yes, the Lord says there is a blessing on the way. This God is revealing himself in this season as the God of increase, the God of increase. Hallelujah. This may serve as a confirmation of what the Lord has been telling you, what you've been sensing by the spirit, what you've been dreaming about. It may be a rhema word for you. Um, and the Lord says, uh, the, 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 to, to let you know that there is a blessing on the way. The Holy Spirit says there's a blessing on the way, on its way to you. God has not forgotten about you. Everything you've been going through and everything you've been doing in obedience to God, uh, God has seen it. Uh, he has seen it and it seems as though they were a waste of time. It seems as though those things were a waste of energy. It seems as though those, uh, as though those things were a waste of resources but the Lord says it is time for you to see an increase your increase is here your blessing is on the way it is coming to you and you will not miss it say at the Lord you will not miss it say at the Lord and some of you have been feeling led to sow you've been feeling led to help others you've been feeling led to intercede you've been feeling led to serve maybe even volunteer uh, for you know homeless shelters or whatever Whatever the case may be and that is because God is wanting you to give something uh, to, to give a sacrifice or to do something as a form of sacrifice because then uh, you will see the, the abundance of the increase of God in your life I remember one time uh, this was uh, years ago the Lord had said to me uh, I was in church and they were talking about building fund uh, for the church and and I went to go put down my offering and as I was going back to my seat the Lord says to me sow everything in your savings account and he gave me the exact amount and I just I just you know I was just let the day before to check the balance in that particular account and I was like uh everything at first I was like okay maybe that's just my mind I knew it wasn't my mind but it was going to be a difficult thing to do because even at that time God was telling me something that he was going to have me do and I'm, I was banking on that you know that money in that account to be able to you know at least have something to start what the Lord was telling me I would I would need to do um, but then I heard him say give everything to the building fund for the church that I was serving at at the time and and, uh, you know, the, the Lord then said to me, uh, any time that I want to bring increase in your life, I will request you to give what is already in your hand. My God, this is a word for somebody who has been sitting on the fence about what God has been telling you to do. I tell you, God, you can never do business with God and come out short. You will never do business with God and come out short. If he's the one giving you the instruction, he will give you a reward and sometimes we think yeah, because we sow a certain amount then we get it back in money because you sold money you get it back in no how about you get it back in health how about you get it back in in, in long life and and prosperity and and blessings in every area of your life how about you get it back in a form of promotion and that was exactly what happened to me three months I believe after I sowed that seed the Lord had said to me write it down down pray over it for three days and then sow it and I did I in obedience to God even though I was like Lord how am I gonna do what you're telling me I'm gonna have to do then uh, but then I, I got a raise on the same job same position everything 20,000 almost $20,000 raise never in the history of that organization a federal organization never in the history of that organization have they ever given such an amount in one time 
at one time in their race. I know you know what I'm talking about. I don't even have to stress that too much. Nobody just gives that kind of money. Nobody does that, but God caused it to happen, not knowing that this had been in the works for years, years and years. And I'm not saying that, you know, my, my seed sowing was what made the way for everybody else, but it sure made a way for me and it made a way for people that were in a certain category or in certain uh, um, uh, class or, or um, uh, I don't know what to call it, but anyway, it was a certain group of people, so it wasn't even this everyone or worldwide or whatever, but God did it because I received mine because I obeyed him, and the Lord is saying in this season, your increase is here, you have been given, you have thought that every time you've been given was a waste of resources, a waste of energy, a waste of time, it says, don't you worry because that blessing is on your way, on the way to you. It is yours this time. You will not miss it. The Holy Spirit led me to prophesy this over you. And that is 1 Peter chapter 5 from verse 10 to 11. It says, but the God of all grace, this is King James, who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. The Lord then led me to the Amplified Version, which I love. It says, after you have suffered for a little while, the God of grace who imparts his blessing and favor, who called you to his own eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen, and establish you, making you what you ought to be. My God, my God. To him be dominion, power, authority, sovereignty forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Lord says it's the time for your increase. There is a blessing on the way to you. He is revealing himself to you as a God of increase. I would advise you to be obedient to whatever God has been telling you to do and not look and think that what he's asking you to do, you've been doing it. You might have been doing it for years and years and it looks like it's a waste of time, or a waste of energy, or a waste of resources. The Lord says, your increase is here. Your blessing is on the way. He has not forgotten about you. Oh, he has not overlooked your obedience. And even in this season, he will not overlook your obedience. The Lord gave me double, double what I sowed that time, but it wasn't just a one-time thing. It was some a blessing that kept on given. Yes, because because that was an increase in my salary, not a bonus. No, it was an increase in my salary. God, we thank you. Yabo Shatai, the same God who did it for me, will cause increase. And I have too many testimonies to share here, but I just shared that to encourage someone led by the Holy Spirit because you have been thinking that was you thinking to yourself to do that thing. It, it, but God is expecting your radical obedience because as you release one thing. It unlocks the door to that next blessing. It unlocks the door when God wants to bless you in a, in a, in a mind-blowing way. It will request you to give something. It will request you to do something that may not make sense. It would be your radical obedience that you, maybe perhaps you've been obeying before. It will be this next radical one that might be the key that finally Finally unlocks the door to your increase, to your overflow. And God, we believe your word. We believe it. We receive it. We know that you're mindful of us. We know that you have not forgotten our sacrifice, our resources, our time that have been sown, our obedience to you. And we'll, we ask God that there will be an outpouring, outpouring of your abundance, outpouring of your increase, outpouring of overflow of every good thing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Mm. We thank you now for having answered for you are the God who answers by fire in Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. If this word has blessed you, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you leave me your comment, and I will see you on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and also for the prayer therapy session on Wednesday by the grace of God. God bless you all. Have a wonderful and a blessed week. Thank you.